Okay, so we got back from Vermont. The wedding was awesome. Uh, I think I got some really good uh, footage of that, but I can't check the footage because I left my laptop in Vermont. So right now I am driving back up to the Woodstock Inn to go get my laptop all alone. <laughs> but uh, whatever, it'll be good. I'll grab some lunch up there. That area was really nice. It was really cool. There was stuff to do. So I'll drive up there, grab my laptop, and then drive all the way back. Not even like, not even like a day trip. Like I'm gonna go up and do stuff. I'm literally driving up, grabbing it, and driving back. Um, but yeah. So hopefully I'll get it, and then uh, yeah, then I gotta edit all this footage and hopefully put some stuff up. Uh, but by this time, you will already have been watching it. So, hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully the laptop's fine and everything like that. And, yeah. Okay, so when we were leaving Vermont, we passed over this really cool gorge and we didn't really have any time to stop and check it out. So on my way up here, I wanted to check it out. So let's go check it out. Okay, so there's that truck to go by. So check it out. So this is just like a regular road, right? Just chilling, regular road. Wait till you see how high up we're about to be. This bridge was built in 1911. It's the Queechy Gorge. So this is so high up here right now. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, but uh, all right, so like I said, just looks like a regular flat bridge. Check out how high we are right here. Look at that. That is so sick. Unreal. Look at that. Look at that. I'm like shaking the camera. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. That's crazy. I kind of want to go check out the other side over there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is way cooler. Check this out. Just epic. So we're gonna take a walk down. I don't know where this path goes, but people keep walking down here. So, I oh know, it should be pretty sweet. Um, it's talking about the overlooks. Can't go that way. Oh, but you can walk under the bridge that I just walked across. Okay. <clears throat> so this is pretty cool. Walking under the bridge. Look at that, look at that, look at that bridge. Just walked on that. It was crazy when huge trucks, I don't know how, it was kind of windy in here. Huge trucks when they drove by it would like shake. That was terrifying, but that's so cool. Oh God, look at that. So I've never seen a gorge before, so that's a gorge. Um, you can walk up that way. I kind of want to go this way. So. This is sick, man. I love Vermont and New Hampshire. We're literally on, pretty much on the New Hampshire, Vermont border. New Hampshire is like 10 minutes that way. And yeah, pretty cool. Oh, this is so rad. Oh, I totally have to come back here one day. Oh my God, go hiking through here. That's totally what I want to do. Yeah, this is all hiking. I'm in jeans and sneakers. And I guess if you keep going down there, you can see more of the gorge. I kinda, I kinda wanna go down there. But I kinda don't wanna walk all the way back up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go right over here. Yeah, this is about as far as we're gonna go. Still, so far down there, look at that. Oh my God, that looks so cool. 
the rocks and everything. Oh, the water's like a blue green. That's so cool little waterfall over there. Oh, that's so sick. All right, so I'm gonna hike back up to the car and we're gonna go get the laptop and then we're gonna drive the two hours all the way back home. What a, I mean, I can't, I can't complain, it's a nice day. It's perfect out, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I'm hanging out at a gorge. Can't beat it, man, can't beat it. Okie dokie, got the laptop. All right, so just got to Woodstock, Vermont and picked up the laptop. We're good, all is good. Oh, this is cool, check this out. Um, hippies hitchhiking right here, look at this. They want to hitchhike and they see me videotaping that. His face looked pissed when I did that. Like, I'm just like, not gonna pick you up, but here. So anyway, so since I was at the Quichi Gorge, I think I called it the Quachi, it's the Quichi Gorge. Um, I Instagrammed a picture there and my friend uh, Kenzie from back in high school good friend, sweet girl, she uh, texted me and was like, or she met, she mentioned on my Instagram, she was like, hey, like, if you have some time, like, swing by my place, because she's in northern, middle New Hampshire, and she was like, swing by, and I was like, yeah, sure, so I'm on my way to meet Mackenzie, and we'll probably grab something to eat, reminisce of the old times in Sitch. Uh, yeah, so it should be pretty good. This is uh, this turned out to be a pretty good day instead of just a boring day of driving two hours to Vermont. We smile and we say, all right, so this is my friend Mackenzie from high school. Awesome kid. Unfortunately, we forgot the GoPro in the car, so all the fun shenanigans we did, no one got to see. But I figured I had to at least say that we were here so that doesn't get left out of the video. But yes, soon we'll hang out with Mackenzie again. Can happen, yeah. Yes, exactly. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Have we'll a good, good one. You. you as well. So Keen. The town of Keene, New Hampshire is a really cool town. I was showing you some of it when we were driving here. This is actually where they taped Jumanji. The movie Jumanji they taped, and oh, that's the GPS. The uh, movie Jumanji was taped in Keene, New Hampshire, and um, if you remember the movie, uh, the kid in the movie's name, his name was Alan Parrish, and uh, his dad owned a shoe store. So one of the buildings here, they have painted on it, Parish Shoes. And then the people of Keene, they have flowers and balloons and little pictures of Robin Williams saying, thank you, you know, you made our town so wonderful. You're so cool. Robin Williams was one of the coolest guys ever. I didn't want to say anything about um, Robin Williams, or I didn't know if I wanted to say anything, but that was, it was, I was having dinner last night, and my sister Marissa texted me and said Robin Williams died, and I was like, you know, bullshit. So I go online, and there it is, right there. That's, uh, I'm very lucky to have met him. I, um, I don't have a picture with him, but the impression he left was definitely, he didn't need a picture. He was, he was the coolest guy. Um, I'm gonna put some pictures on my Instagram. It'll have the pictures, um, some more of the gorge, uh, and it'll have pictures of that whole, um, the parish thing and then the balloons and the flowers. So um, I will put those up. My Instagram, Nicholson Comedy, at Nicholson Comedy. And yeah, on my way back from Keene, good day.